it's Thursday 2nd of November today the new uh, line 6 on the metro opens one station is about a five minute walk from my place Ines de Suarez it's about seven minutes away from opening I'm off to check out the opening of the station and later on I might ride the train as well y marca la inauguración del día de hoy quisiera saber si don Héctor quisiera entregarnos algunas palabras por favor bueno, el, tal como dijo el, el director de, de tránsito acá, Santiago, de Providencia. Bienvenido entonces a la línea 6 del Metro. Fuerte el aplauso para Metro y para la estación Inés de Suárez. Adelante, por favor, pasen nomás. Este es el momento en que comienza a ser operativa la línea 6 del Metro que va a conectar a gran parte de Santiago. La estación Inés de Suárez, acá en la Plaza Pedro de Valdivia. All right, so it's time to head in. There's a few things that are different about this new metro line that the existing ones don't have. The first one, just behind me up there, is a symbol of the station. Inés de Suárez, they all have a name, but they also have an image. So Los Leones, or the lions, a little bit further up, has two lions on it. Uh, this is something I've seen in Mexico, where for people who can't uh, read, they can just see the symbols and understand which station they're at. So that's the, the first thing uh, just down here in the um, the concourse area. Up on the wall they've also got all of the images there of of the different stations on the line. To get into the uh, the platform itself they have uh, new barrier gates. Uh, they sort of, again, fancy glass ones that cover the entire um, the entire way in that go in and out in order to allow people in and also on the platform itself are some screen doors which align with the trains themselves because these are driverless trains so much like an elevator has inner doors and outer doors this new line also has uh, platform screen doors and train screen doors and because the trains are driverless you can see through the front window of the train itself the last main difference between this line and Santiago's other metro lines is that up above, which you can see here, there is uh, overhead wiring to provide power to the metro trains. All of Santiago's other metro lines are actually powered by a third rail down on the ground just where the rail is. Uh, so that does provide a little bit more safety, however with these screen doors it kind of prevents people from falling onto the track anyway. The reason there are overhead wires rather than a third rail, even though there are screen doors on the platforms, is if the train breaks down, the door at the front of the train, where the driver would have been in the past, is now a door. And so it is used for evacuations onto the ground, which doesn't have third rail and therefore is safe for the passengers to evacuate on. So that is why there are still overhead wires and screen doors. Because these new trains are driverless, they actually don't have a driver's cab at the front or the back. They just have a window and passengers can fit into it. And that means that you can actually sit at the front of the train and see where it's going. But being the first day, most people are going there. So I'm standing near the back of the station and I'm going to get on this train, but on the last carriage and see the view from the back. So basically the same thing, but just in reverse, right? Well, those are the two kilometers from Ines de Suarez to the eastern terminus at Los Leones. Um, I quite enjoyed that. It's very futuristic, very, very modern. Reminds me of what the Sydney Metro line is going to look like when it's opened in a couple of years back home. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to head over to the other side to catch the other train back where I came from and head home. <laughs>